Now we are going to talk about the post fertilization changes. I hope the concept of fertilization is clear to you by now. What are the post fertilization changes? Arranging them in sequential order, we have the endosperm formation followed by the embryogeny or embryo formation and this later on gets to the stage where seed and fruit formation takes place. So, these are the three steps. Okay? We have a lesson dedicated to each one of them. What is endosperm formation, how it takes place, what is embryo formation, how it takes place and how seed and fruit formation takes place. We are going to see that. But for once, we have to get back to what was in fertilization. It was that there is fusion of one male gamete with the female ovum, ova, ova, egg, sorry, I am using the wrong term, female egg to give rise to zygote and now we have another term known as oosphere. This term could be used, okay? You just use zygote only. A zygote is formed. This zygote later on forms the embryo. So, we are going to trace the development of zygote in the embryo formation. This was the process of syngamy. It is repetitive, but just in order to understand why and how we study the post fertilization stages, we are uh, giving it a revision sort of. Uh, repetition you can say. Second is the other male gamete goes and combines in triple fusion with the two polar nuclei and it forms primary endosperm nucleus otherwise known as primary PEN within the primary endosperm cell. Okay, and this is triple fusion. While this one was syngamy, this one triple fusion is studied in the post fertilization development where we have endosperm formation from the primary endosperm cell. Now, this primary endosperm cell was formed from the two nucleate central cell. This endosperm is for nutrition of the embryo. So, the formation of endosperm precedes the embryonic development. So, that embryo is well nourished and fed by the cells of endosperm. So, the primary endosperm nucleus would undergo continuous divisions and form the endosperm. Okay? So, primary endosperm cell forms the primary uh, from forms the endosperm that endosperm could be of three types it could be nuclear endosperm it could be cellular endosperm just remember the terms we study about these in a different lesson and it could be helobial endosperm okay the embryo that is being formed as a result of division of zygote, please remember all our mitotic divisions, this endosperm would be triploid and this endosperm is a, um, not, uh, please remember this characteristic feature that the endosperm in gymnosperms acts as the female gametophyte. Please remember this. I am specifically writing it so that you have this engraved in your mind that in female, uh, in gymnosperms, the endosperm would act as the female gametophyte where you are going to find the female gamete. But in the case of angiosperms, as the lesson is about angiosperms, the endosperm is a specialized tissue which is having triploid um, 
um, triploid ploidy level and is responsible for formation of nourishing uh, tissue which could be present in three of these forms depending on the type of division that has taken place. In the embryo formation, the embryo could be a monocot embryo giving rise to a monocot seed or it could be a dicot embryo giving rise to a dicot seed. And when these developments are taking place within the ovule, it gets converted into a seed once embryo stops its development. With the stimulus from these activities of endosperm leading to formation of embryo, stopping of embryo formation and then leading to formation of seed coats and seed, the fruit formation also takes place where the ovarian walls get converted into fruit, not just the ovarian walls, thalamus could also get converted. So, these are the post fertilization changes that we observe once the zygote has been formed. So, this is what you have to uh, deal with in coming lessons. What are the different types of uh, endosperms that are seen in plants? Uh, how two different types of embryos, monocot and dicot uh, uh, embryos are being formed in angiosperms and how seed and fruit formation, develop, uh, formation takes place and what is the significance of these processes. So, this is what you have to study. I hope you get an idea what post fertilization changes are.